Hi, my name is Emily and I work here at PGACO as an online QuickBooks specialist. I am an advanced pro advisor and I hope that this video answers any of your questions or queries you may have. If it doesn't, however, there will be a link at the end of the video taking you to my Find an Accountant page. Here you'll find reviews from some of my current clients and you can get in touch with any questions or queries you may have. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for any future updates and new videos. Thank you very much. In this video I am going to show you how to match a payment in pounds against a bill in a foreign currency within QuickBooks Online. To turn on multi-currency navigate to the company cog in the top right hand corner of the screen and click on account and settings. Under advanced on the left hand side scroll down until you can see currency and you can see here, so click on this section and you need to tick the multi-currency box and then you will need to tick this box also. What this is asking is are you sure you want to turn multi-currency on because once you've turned it on, you can't turn it off. So if you're happy with that, click the box and select save. Then click done. We're now going to create a supplier and put their currency as a foreign currency. So if we go into expenses and suppliers, we're going to create a new supplier. This company is going to be called New York Supplies LTD. And be sure to change the drop down so I pay this supplier with US dollars. You can obviously also put in lots of other information here about the supplier if you want to, but once you're happy, click save. We're going to create a foreign currency bill for this supplier. So again, we're going to use the supplier we've just created, New York Supplies. And the bill date is going to be the 1st of December 2017. We purchased some uh, stationery from this supplier at a cost of 100 US dollars. Because they're based in America, there is no VAT. And here you can see that QuickBooks brings up the total in Great British Pounds as well. So this is equivalent to 74 pounds and 23 pence. Once you're happy with the bill, you can click save and close. I have now paid New York suppliers for this bill, so I will move to the banking section of QuickBooks Online. As you can see here, I have paid them £74 on the 15th of December. Now if you remember rightly, the bill was raised on the 1st of the month, and actually QuickBooks told us that it was equal to 74 pounds and 23 pence. This was because it was based on the exchange rate on the first of the month. However, as exchange rates change, we have paid them for the exchange rate on the 15th, meaning we have paid 23p too little. QuickBooks will calculate this. However, we need to tell it to do so. So what we'll need to do is click on the transaction as I have done so here and click on find match. This is because QuickBooks doesn't recognize that the two transactions match together and doesn't bring up a one similar record icon. This is because they're in two different currencies. So once we've clicked on find match, click on the foreign currency button. And here you can see the bill that we're trying to apply the payment to. So we're going to select this. And as you can see, 23p difference here from the two amounts. We know it's the right bill though, so we're going to click save. That transaction has now gone into the in QuickBooks and has hopefully paid off our bill, but let's just go and double check that. So here you can see the bill has been paid in full. However, what has happened to that 23p difference? Has QuickBooks accounted for it for us already? Let's double check. So if we navigate to the accounting tab, and we're going to search for an account called exchange gain or loss. Here you can see this account here. So we're going to click on run report. 
This account logs any exchange rates or differences as you go along in the system. And as you can see here, for our bill for New York supplies, we have a 23p difference. 